Hi guys, in this tutorial we will do analysis of this telescopic spreader beam, adjustable spreader beam. It's something like this big uh, square tube is uh, fixed and this small square tube is going uh, out and going inside. The fixed square tube I have used here section 180 by 180 12.5 millimeter and uh, this small square tube section I have used 150 150 16 millimeter thickness. So it has various points we can fix anywhere, but I use the two locations. One is a maximum position at five meter, and the minimum spreader position at three point eight meter millimeter, three point eight meter. So the material I have used here as three fifty five JR, which is high grade material. So let's do uh, the analysis. Run the analysis on this. As you can see here I have used a sling rope as a just reference only. Uh, we will not consider any analysis or result of this rope. And here also I have used two pins as a connector. This all part is welded. This part and this part is welded. So here is the section you can see. So we fix with this uh, slidable square tube with these two pins. So let's do analysis. First we do with a 5 meter with the maximum length, maximum position. Okay. First of all we will delete this component uh, contacts, global contact. We will make our own contacts. No penetration. Select this face and this this face. Pin this this face this face. Select these three faces and this link rope phase where the connecting phase okay so this phase selected all right the same we will do here select the three faces of pad i lifting i and this phase select other and you have to judge this phase is selected okay now let's do cross section to select this pin areas make contact with these pins no penetration okay select this pin and select these four faces And the same we will do with this <clears throat> okay so now we have to make more two more connections as a welded component so here we choose this fixed beam as a bonded welded compatible mesh Yeah, okay. And then the same we do with the movable beam, compatible bonded, hit okay. So now our all contacts are set, ready. Now we apply fixture, we will select this top face as a fixture. So first of all, let's apply uh, 7.5 ton load here. Okay, uh, seven ton, whatever. Four, I will apply seven ton here. On minus y direction. This face as a reference face. We will choose this face where we have to apply the load 
and normal to plane this phase we have selected so it's normal to phase see it's pointing you down let's supply seven seven thousand kilogram total seven thousand into nine point eight ton uh, okay divided to we apply three point five ton on each side total okay the same we do okay this is already selected everything okay Sometimes these uh, arrows and the forces fixed uh, symbols not showing because it is unchecked here, right? So you have to check this option, then you will see the all points and fixtures. Okay, so everything is ready. uh okay we will do one more thing fix go we will fix this direction of this all uh, components like uh, we don't want to move on this directions maybe there is a chance to move this direction so we will fix this direction so we just need the direction on this y and z what is the deflection or the result coming in this z direction and y direction we don't want anything on this x direction so we have to log the rotation moving transition on this x direction so we go advanced fixture we select these faces all maximum you can do So we are going to bound this all faces in x direction, no movement in x direction. So just click normal to plane. this is select this face for as a reference and just untake this all so we have to uh, fix the uh, movement in this direction transition translation all right so we have keep the zero so this y y and z will be the free so this is the we have locked in this direction all right so now everything is ready let's create the mesh mesh parameter go to mesh parameter curvature select maximum if your computer is high configured my computer Okay, mesh is ready. Yeah, it's all good. Now run the analysis, run the study. For your information, I have used S355 material for these two components okay for this swing rope and the pins i have used high strength materials 
so our strengths and loadings nothing will uh, affect this sling rope and the pins it will take some time because we have used so many no penetration contacts here the pad eye thickness i have used 25 mm plus 10 mm doubler plate doubler plate and the hole center 180 180 and the pin diameter i have the hole i drill here 13 mm 30 So we got the stresses maximum 120 MPA. Here I make scale 50. So where we have the maximum stress, let's see. Okay. So here in somewhere, we have the maximum stress. Displacement. <coughs> we have in the middle. I think maximum two millimeter I think we have. Yeah. Let's make it scale fifty. Okay. Let's animate. Okay, now let's do cross section. Okay guys, so the maximum deformation we have here, 2 millimeter maximum displacement. Okay, and now let's see the stress cross section. Okay. I think it's safe for the 7 ton because uh, all structures are the uh, in the blue color so it's mean maximum we have uh, 25 or 20 only this portion have some green areas so it's mean maximum <clears throat> 85 
stresses we have here and here we have somewhere red color Yes, I think in it's somewhere here. Here. Okay, guys. So now let's do the analysis on the minimum minimum position at three point eight meter. Okay, guys. Let's. Copy the study, 3.8 meter, configuration user 3.8, hit OK. Activate the configuration. Okay, so here what we have to uh, change these two penetration contacts. This one, as now this is uh, irrelevant. Added definition, clear selection. We choose the, these four new faces here. Added this pin contact also. Clear this. Choose this four. So uh, all our setup is uh, uh, ready. Everything is there. We just need to change the forces here. Uh, in the maximum position at five meter, we have applied seven ton. So now here we will apply um, fifteen ton on total. So seven point seven ton at each side, or seven ton. 7000 into 9.81 7000 kilogram on each side okay create mesh Now mesh ready, now run this ready. So here we have used total 14 ton loading capacity, applied 14 ton.
this all analysis is just for the theoretical and the education purpose only okay cool so here we got three 238 mm, stresses here on this point okay Uh, as you can see in the deformation position it is clashing but uh, it's not a problem it's clashing because of the scale when we increase the scale obviously it will go down 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 so But here, see, you can see we have the two millimeter only deformation. So I think this is also safe for the 14 ton. Just one second, let me confirm this contacts. It's good. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. <clears throat> so you see that, guys, uh, we have applied uh, 7 ton and the 14 ton on the both configuration 5 meter long in uh, separator beam and 3.8 meter long position. So here we got uh, 238 maximum stresses on this pad I and the displacement we got almost 2 millimeter in in this mid area and in the at the 5 meter we got stress uh, displacement oh, almost also 2 millimeter here okay guys so i hope you like this video 